Hi everyone, this is Blue Kibo. Uh, in the previous video, we went through VirtualBox and we added Ubuntu 64-bit uh, to it. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and install it. So we're back to this screen right here at the end of the first video. So we can either try Ubuntu or install it. We're going to go ahead and install Ubuntu. And right here, we're going to say install third-party software. Um, I have an Intel um, computer, so I also like to get some proprietary uh, drivers and so forth. So let's continue. Right here it says erase disk and install Ubuntu. Again, this is inside the virtual machine in VirtualBox. This does not mean it's going to erase your actual disk on your computer. It's just going to erase the disk on the virtual machine. It's as if you had a separate computer. So go ahead and do that. Encrypt the new Ubuntu uh, installation for security. That's good. Always good to encrypt uh, information if you care about security. And then you say install now and that's it. Right here you choose a security key. I'm just going to come up with one. And again here. And it says it's weak. It's fine. Okay, and then for more security, override empty disk space. The installation might take longer. You don't really need this. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you want to, you, you can go ahead and do it. It's, it's a virtual machine after all. Install it. And then right here it says if you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disks. Just say continue. Choose your time zone. This is good for me. English, you can test your keyboard right here. Yes, it works. Continue. And then your name. And that's all good. Pick a username, blue keyba, and then a password. And then log in automatically. You can do that if you want. Um, it's a virtual machine. It's fine, but I like to not do that. And I always encrypt my home folder. Okay, so now it's, it says welcome to Ubuntu and it's installing Ubuntu as the super user and it's coping files and doing all the processes in the background. Uh, I'll get back, uh, I'll skip this process right now and get back to it when it's over. All right, guys, so now it says it's almost finished copying the files. I'm going to wait a bit more and uh, come back to you when it's completed. All right, guys, so the installation has completed. It says restart now to use the new installation. We're going to click on restart now. All right, so it says please remove the installation medium, then press enter. As you remember, we used a virtual CD to uh, install Ubuntu. Now we need to remove that so that we can continue booting into the new system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this window, power off the machine, click OK. And then under Ubuntu machine, go to storage. Make sure that this CD right here is empty. OK. And another thing I forgot to mention in the first video, if you have a, a four core system, you can go under system processor. So I have four CPUs and I'm giving the virtual machine only one. I'm going to move that to two. It will make the uh, process the uh, virtual machine a bit faster, easier to use. And then uh, we're going to also enable PAENX. All right. Uh, I've seen that uh, uh, for installations like this for Ubuntu, it's good to enable it. I'm not 100% sure on what it does, but as it says here, the physical address extension feature of the host will be exposed to the virtual machine. So let's click OK, and then we can run the system. This should be a clean new Ubuntu system. So let's see what happens. All right, I encrypted my disk, so I need to unlock it now. Okay, so after the encryption 
uh, is finished, the, the machine is decrypted, we are into Ubuntu. So let's log in. As you can see, everything is just fresh, just as new, just as if you installed this on a completely new machine. Um, Ubuntu is installed, and uh, now that we're, we're giving it two cores, it should be a little bit faster that we, than with one core. Um, the other thing is, as you can see here, Ubuntu shows up as full screen. If that doesn't happen on your machine, if you still see on VirtualBox a little tiny screen in the middle, of the of the Ubuntu of the VirtualBox installation, then you need to install VirtualBox Guest Editions, and for that, follow the next video. Thank you very much. Until then, see you later. Bye bye.